You and I were made for this world. From the earliest of times, human beings have looked out into the place that we inhabit with awe. You know, whether it's the tranquility of a butterfly that's floating along in the breeze, or the majesty of the stars overhead each night, or the power of a lightning bolt, we have beheld our world as a place of inestimable beauty and wonder and glory. We belong here. It's our home. You know, this world, it was made for us and we for it. In this world, God has given us life. The Bible says that in the beginning, God made the heavens and the earth. The very first chapter of the Bible tells how God made all things that we know and that we see and love. You know, the flowers of the field and the birds of the air, the dolphins that swim in the oceans, the fungi that inhabit the forest beds all over the earth. God made all of it. And as he did so, he says over and over how good it is. This, my friends, is why we love this world. Why we look at it with such awe and wonder. And do you know what the crowning achievement of God's creation is? It's us, you and me. You see, after God made everything else, He made us. God said, let us make human beings after our own image. So you see, God made all things and He made them so good that even He stood back in joy and delight at His own creation. And finally, last of all, he made us as his final act. And what's the best part is that after he made us, he not only looked at everything that he had made and said, it is good. He looked at it now with us in it and he said, it is very good. Friends, we are the crowning work of this world made by God. What we find at the very beginning of the Bible is that a good God made a good world for us to enjoy and to delight in to his honor and glory. And God has made him like himself so that we could enjoy the world that he made to his honor and his delight. And so we could take care of it for him. So whenever we bite into a really juicy burger and have flavors that just make our minds go crazy with delight, it's because God made us to enjoy the things that he made. Whenever we look at a sunset and are, are struck still with awe and wonder, it's because God made it for us to enjoy for that purpose, for us to delight in Him and to honor Him as we enjoy everything that He made. You know, whenever we fall madly in love with a boy or a girl, and our hearts and our souls and our bodies are, are bound together in solemnity and ecstasy and delight and we build life as one this is because God made us for this a good God made a good and wonderful world for us to enjoy and to love to his honor and his delight all of us you know I think are in search of this kind of life I believe that all of us are driven to something more than just living life. We want to love life. We want more than just to get up and go about our day as a robot and then go to bed each night having done what is necessary simply for survival. I think we all want so much more than this. We want to have life, meaning, purpose, joy, hope, peace, love. There's a hunger in us for life that is craving to be satisfied. I think we all do what we do in life trying to satisfy this craving. And this craving comes because we are made in a way like God and we can't satisfy ourselves apart from Him. You know, if you think about a child, a child loves eating cupcakes. They love reading stories with their mom and dad. And they love playing dolls or toy trucks. They like to sing and to dance and to be silly. A child loves so many things. But they love all of these things out of the relationship that they have with their 
mom and their dad. We live in our father's world. We're like that, these kids. We have all of these good things. All of these amazing things that we feel should be making us really happy. Our jobs and our food and our romantic partners and our recreation. But we can't help but feel that something is profoundly missing. That something's wrong with all of it. That despite all of this life that we're surrounded by and that we can enjoy, there's something at the very core is missing. You know, so many people think that knowing God is about killing your joy and your delight and the fun you have in the world. But I think that knowing God allows us to experience a joy and a delight and a glory in the world like we've always craved but could never have. Knowing who God is and knowing that He made our world and He made us and that He did it all so we could delight in Him find great satisfaction in the world that He made. It's what gives me the kind of joy and sense of purpose and meaning that I've always been looking for. Now, I don't know about you, but that's the kind of life that I want. Look, I'm not trying to deny that there's not a lot of problems in the world or in our lives, but I wanted to start here. Start with all of the goodness that is around us and for us. Because everything that we feel is wrong with the world starts because there's something inside of us that longs for a good world. Something inside of us that craves life. Something that dreams of the kind of world that is good and perfect and full of the kind of life that we're looking for. We see glimpses of it everywhere. In the stars twinkling up above or the melodic sounds of the waves crashing on the seashore or the giggle of a child or in the face of our beloved. We are surrounded by so many things promising life, but we don't know how to get it or how to keep it. But for now, let's just enjoy and be glad that God made such a good world and that He made it for us, for us to delight in and to enjoy to His honor and His delight. Life.